well, we didn't care if they were perky. We just wanted tits. Do you know how big my boobs are? Huge. I think you have like only one way to know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks Ding. for tuning yes, in, guys. Recording. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Ding, and this is going to be episode six of the Doncast, where we talk about Tim and his wedding experience. Tim, how was the wedding? Oh, uh, the wedding was good. It was it was beautiful. Um, those of you in upstate New York, I'm not going to name names, but I'm looking at you on my screen. Uh, oh, I don't live there. We, we had uh, the ceremony and the reception were held at Ravenwood Golf Club in Victor, New York. And um, surprisingly, no golf balls flew into the wedding, which I was very disappointed in learning. Wait, were there people um, golfing or no? Yeah, people were golfing. They were riding around in their golf carts. They were, uh, there was like a, a bar right right beside the venue, and people were still getting drinks. Uh, the venue itself was beautiful. The catering was good. And um, Did the you whole dance? wedding was just good. You know, yeah. they're not. Did you? You can tell us the honest truth. No, it was great. It honestly was. <laughs> It was way better than any other wedding I've ever been to. Any I'll other. You too. I'll punch you in the <laughs> face right now. I swear to God. Oh. Uh, never mind. Second best wedding I've ever been to. There we go. I'm going right. to go to mine. <laughs> in Vegas. Can I go to your next one? Um, oh, when you, <laughs> that, came, that came out wrong. I meant when you renew your vows. Like, well, sure. Can I get invited? Of course. I mean, yeah. But after that comment, wait. When are we going to renew your vows? Can we go to Vegas next year? Please. Uh, yeah. I'm already at ten years, so it'd be weird to do it at eleven. But I oh, okay. But we'll do it at uh, no 11 lucky and eleven. Half. No lucky eleven. But I can also Vegas. go. Um. Well, Mitch wasn't twenty one when we went, and I was. So I was wasted, and we went to the chapel, like literally a chapel you see on TV, yeah. and they um, said they would not marry us because I was so wasted. They're like, you need wow. to come back. She's sober. <laughs> so they that standards? Thing, yeah. So you cannot get married drunk there. It's a lie. Interesting. I bet yeah. you could find one, though, that yeah, would do it probably. Yeah, this one was like classy yeah <laughs> it's a classy I mean, you and Mitch are classy gal classy people well you want to know something really funny is the next what? day i'm sober and the chapel we went to had a drive through and me being who i am thought it would be hilarious if we got married in a drive <laughs> so we did oh that's cool though that, yeah but that's not, pretty awesome that's not, a good story it was so fun not many yeah. people get to say that so I mean, I don't tell a lot of people that because. Well, now the world knows. <laughs> yep. I mean, I don't care anymore. It's ten years ago, so whatever. Yeah, Mitch was well, like, "You gotta promise never to tell anybody, ever." And you're like, uh, "I swear on my soul, Mitch, they will never know we had a drive-through wedding." <laughs> but Tim, yeah, now you know that at her next time. wedding. Yeah, I'll go inside for that one. Okay. <laughs> um, but Tim, you didn't you didn't tell us the important information about the wedding. Did you do the pony dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a seven year old uh, took it as a dance challenge. I had no moves after the pony move. You just Not you, a, you don't stop. Did you run into? <laughs> did you happen to run into any girls that were flinging their period blood at the walls in the bathroom? No, unfortunately not. Frisky. But while we're on the subject of bathrooms, let me tell you a story of what happened to me while I was in the bathroom at the golf club for the wedding. Right. Okay. So there was like this period of time where the bars open, and then yeah, during dinner, fun. and then during dinner, uh, the bar was closed. So you had to get your drinks ahead of time, and you couldn't, you know, go back and get more al alcoholic drinks specifically. And then it reopened after dinner. Um, so it's dinner and I go to the bathroom and I've already had like two or three, four or five drinks already. So I'm feeling pretty fresh. I'm sitting there peeing. Dude walks in, two beers in his hands. And I'm like, 
how the hell did you convince the bride to do that? And he's like, oh, I'm not with the wedding. And I'm like, you're so lucky because the bar is closed. And he was like, really? Well, here, have one of mine. <laughs> and while I'm peeing and this other guy is peeing, he hands me <laughs> a Labatt Blue. And I take it and I'm like, free fucking beer. And so I got a free beer in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> because I complained about not being able to get a beer at the wedding. <laughs> I mean, it had to be pretty safe. Like, what are the odds of him going into the bathroom expecting to give away a beer? Like, he obviously didn't drug it beforehand. I was actually confused <laughs> why he had two beers. Oh, I've, like, I walked I out with two beer. I'm double Maybe they before. had, like, a two-for-one special. Or he just didn't want to wait in line a second time. Maybe yeah, just like a party. I do that. I've done. I did that at my dad's wedding. I would go in line and I'd get like two beers, so I didn't have to keep going back. Wait, I did line. that at Anna's wedding. Like I just kept getting beers. <laughs> oh you, yeah, we did do that. That one. Did you have to do anything after for that beer? Like, did he say now you have to get on your knees? Well, obviously I sucked his dick, but okay, I was thinking to mention that part. <laughs> <Paper>. <laughs> Well, now we have to put Tended that sticker you. on. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Uh, Whatever. Tim, did you uh, did you do the dance by yourself to try and convince ladies to dance with you? Uh, no. After I did that dance, I think everybody avoided me. <laughs> mm. So well, you just hung yeah. out with the seven-year-olds? I just sat back down. So was... one of the funniest things that ever happened to me in the bathroom was at the Rochester, or no, uh, TSE, Toll Sports Experience in Rochester. And uh, I was in the bathroom before a soccer game, pooping, and a little kid runs <laughs> into the bathroom, and it's him and his friend, and they're like running around playing tag or something in the bathroom. I can't see because I'm pooping in the stall, but all of a sudden, one of the kid, like, one kid leaves, and then the other one, like, runs into the stall next to me. And reaches under the the divider and taps my foot and then runs out of the bathroom. Here. What the f- like that's it. <laughs> and I was You're like it. I was just like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> like what was the reason for that? <laughs> was, so yeah. that kid's gonna be Actually. forever in my fucking head. <laughs> in about like Psyched twenty years you're gonna run into a kid and you'll be like, You look familiar and you're gonna like just like pat his arm or something. Oh no! I'm just gonna. He's know. gonna have to go find someone to tag because the game never ended. Yeah. Never ended. And another bathroom story. When I was in uh, the airport going to New York and coming back, um, I don't know if this is specifically an Orlando airport thing, but uh, I went in there to go pee, and like people like. It was like a revolving door of shitting people. And one guy, as I was peeing, he was walking in, singing some Spanish song. And he was walking, singing, slams open the bath of the stall door, shuts it. And he's like, as soon as he drops his drawers, <laughs> like it was insane. And he was singing while he was doing it. And I was like, that is some big dick energy was he shitting like to a beatbox kind of like vibe did it sound like he was beatboxing no no he just just trying to you know just do his get rid of his shit (laughs) do you guys know where the do you guys know where the best place to take it like the best like uh place that's not home to take a dump is makes you feel so safe and secure i was gonna say wait let me think if it's, it's not, not at, at home, Chick-fil-A. it's not at home. Or Chick Fil A, I'll say they're also nice there. Yeah, and there it's definitely clean. It's been touched by God's clean clean hands. I don't You'd know. Be wrong. So the best uh, place to go? No, the best place to go is Bucky's. Do you guys know what Bucky's is? Yeah. So Bucky's is. But is that the best place to take a dump? Okay, so hear me out. Yes, there's, there's a lot of people, but you have your literal own individual stall from with like a full-on door. So it is like legit going in your own bathroom. 
Okay, there's no, there's none of this like people being able to get underneath and tap your feet um, or anything like that. And it's so clean, and it just makes you feel so comfortable. You want to take off your shirt and and, and get comfortable. You know what the least comfortable place to take shit in is? A friend's house. No. So well, yeah, but. I went down to North Carolina a bunch in my 20s and to visit a friend. And there was this place in Winston-Salem, this bar. And you go in and there's literally like a shitter. And then there's another shitter like right next to it. And there's no divider. And like when you walk in the bathroom, like you can see the toilet. Like there's no walls, nothing. And there's two of them next to each other. And it's just like you're expecting to take a shit in here. And I've done it. But it's uncomfortable. That reminds me of Toby's. That do you reminds remember me Toby's, of, Devin? I do. That I was going to say, that reminds me of our high school. Because at our high school, in some of the bathrooms, they didn't, like, uh, for the, like, shitting toilets, they didn't have, like, a stall. They had, like, a little half wall that you had to sit down at. And I don't even know if it had, like, a, had, like, a front thing. They might have had a front door, but, like, you could sit down and you could just talk to your buddy right here. I think, those, I think between the toilets was a half wall. athletic department, like in I the saw them, locker rooms. I saw them in the upstairs science hall. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't remember ever having something like that in the athletics, um, like, shower rooms, and it was always embarrassing. I Well, here's the thing is, I never had to take athletics, so I was never down there. So I wouldn't know that. This is Devin admitting to us he hasn't run more than five steps in not at all. years. No, no. When I was in when I was in high school, they had band that you could take as an athletic. So I did marching band for four years. So that's yeah. where you got all your cardio was marching. That's right. I have and a you question. Know what? I haven't done it since. <laughs> um. Do you guys poop at work? Oh, yes, I definitely yeah. do. I work from home. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell you. I I used to work in a theater, um, and every day the three people that worked, the three guys that worked in the shop, um, at roughly the same time would say, "All right, we ate lunch. Time to take your shit." And we we would shit in the dressing rooms, like in the bathroom that was in the dressing rooms. But we each had our own assigned toilet. Hmm. Okay, my husband will at work. Can't do it. So. So when, like, you, when he comes home, he runs to the bathroom. He's like, I've been holding it all day. When you guys go to the bathroom in a public restaurant and there's like more than one shitter, do you guys like run it through your head which one is likely to have been used the least? Every time. Even though it's just completely stupid because they've all been used millions of times. But Well, I remember watching a Tyra Banks episode once where she said, where like there was a cleanliness doctor or something who came in and they were like, um, more than likely, uh, (laughs) the cleanest, uh, stall in the bathroom would be the closest one to the door because people would want to go to the furthest one away. Um, because they're ashamed of having to <laughs> expel their wastes. So I always that, choose the closest one. If there's three, I use the middle because I'm like, all right, the furthest is obviously not the answer. But then maybe the people who know that are choosing the closest. So the middle one might be the answer. Or maybe if the furthest one is the most obvious, so people take it. Then the other people who come in to use the furthest one are like, shit, this door is taken. And then they take the second furthest. Maybe. Although, I, run off. What, what, I use the handicap stall. Yeah, I was going to say, what trumps my decision I, every time is, if there's a handicap stall, that's it. I don't care if it's yeah. the closest, the furthest, whatever. That's my stall. I want the space. Sorry. Because, yeah. I mean, a girl's bathroom is all shitters. So we don't really have a choice. Yeah, that kind of yeah. sucks. No, well, I mean, on the Tyra Banks show, they were only talking about women's bathrooms, uh, not about the men's. I just applied their knowledge, their logic to the men's. Now, is it true that all women's bathrooms have couches in them? No. I've probably seen, like, one. <laughs> I've never I've seen, seen a couch. more than one. <laughs> we don't really hang out in the bathrooms. They're not... 
I mean, <laughs> all right, when we're, Benz. Yeah. When we're drinking and we make friends, yes, but we don't like sit down and talk. So what? When multiple women go to the bathroom at the same time, what's that all about? You guys are just going to to talk, right? Oh, we're we're just making friends with everyone. We literally all talk to each other. I love your hair. I love your shirt. We're best friends instantly. We're all in there taking selfies. I have so many selfies with strangers. If a guy did that, you'd probably get punched in the face. <laughs> yeah, conversely, when guys go to the bathroom together, it's to it's to fight. And to throw up on each other's shoes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, I gotta throw up. Come on, man, I got you. My shoes will be ready for you for your vomit. Uh, the vomit that Kelsey comes out I, at forty-two miles an hour. <laughs> uh, Kelsey and I went on a momcation in Virginia, and we went to the bathroom very drunk at a bar, and we actually convinced other girls to be the Spice Girls with us. So these, <laughs> we were all the Spice Girls, and they just performed with us. And in the bathroom, in the bathroom. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, we have a picture. Weird. Did you lock yeah. the door? Like, were you holding up a line? No, hell okay. no. No, it's it's a bunch of stalls. So we Did all. Did you just... have to wait for somebody to finish shitting? No, there was a, it was a bar, so there was a ton of girls in there. Mm. We had plenty of contestants, but <laughs> contestants. So. Um, you had auditions every now and then, <laughs> fucking bathroom. <laughs> every now Not and then, me, um, when I'm at home and my wife is using the bathroom, I'll just like keep the door open. Somebody wants yeah. something. Oh, the truck song. So every now and then, yeah. So every now and then, I'll come in. I'll just kick the door open and start like singing it, uh, and then I'll walk out. Did you guys know I That's told I told Frisky that. Uh, Rick and Morty was kid friendly. <laughs> and then I Jimmy fell for it and let her eight year old watch the entire thing. To be fair, I wasn't trying to pull your leg. I legitimately thought it was because I'd forgotten yeah, well, that they cuss. Yeah, but someone told me I because I asked another person I'm like, oh yeah, it's just like Bob's Burgers, and I'm like, okay, well that's not really that bad. And then first episode I watched, the girl's like, manhandle my breast, and I'm like. <laughs> My eight-year-old watched all the seasons by himself, so God. And he was like, "He's like, what does it mean to manhandle breasts, Mom?" Well, he figured it out real quick because <laughs> pretty sure they explained it. <laughs> so I, I'm scared to watch the rest now because I don't want to know what he knows. I'm sure he knows more than you know. I he probably does. All right. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Dongcast. Be sure you like, share, and subscribe.